I think Call of Duty is having an identity crisis. Uh, for a long time now, it hasn't really felt like the game series it used to be. Like, especially after the original Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2, it kind of, like, has been going on its downward decline. And even though it's still top selling game of all time, doesn't mean that the cracks aren't starting to show. I mean, we saw, like, Vanguard, how bad that was at launch. I've seen a lot of the same stuff with New Modern Warfare 2. But, like, most of the Call of Duty games have been very, like, niche and mainly... The people who play Call of Duty are the same people who play Call of Duty. And of course, new people coming in because Call of Duty is the biggest game, and it will probably stay like that for a while. We still have people who swear by ghosts. We had Black Ops 3 and 4, which kind of tried to copy the Titanfall sci-fi route. Same with Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare. We had Cold War, Vanguard, and World War II trying to do their own thing, bring back the old guard, people who liked the World War II shooters. And then recently, in 2019, we were greeted by Captain Price. Except it wasn't Price. It wasn't our Price. It wasn't the Price I grew up with. It was a reboot. For some reason, they decided to go ahead and fully reboot, redo the entirety of Modern Warfare, which I thought was a good game to begin with. Of course, the original creators of Modern Warfare made a great game, a great first-person shooter. They kind of left Call of Duty and they went on to make Respawn and Titanfall and then Titanfall 2, which is probably the one of, if not the greatest first-person campaign out there ever. There's a lot to live up to with that name Modern Warfare, but someone decided they were going to make it again, like even in Modern Warfare 2. I'm not going to be the first person to admit that Modern Warfare 2019 was actually pretty good. I enjoyed the multiplayer quite a lot. I played the campaign once. It wasn't anything special, not too bad. But it always scratched in like the back of my head why they tried to do these MCU style like reveals and like these hero group shots in the cutscenes and stuff, which they're impressive. They look nice. I'll give them that. Modern Warfare 2, there's a few of the cutscenes where I thought they straight up did it live action because my god, the fucking rendering is beautiful. But, like, with Soap at the end of Modern Warfare 2019, and they do the same thing with Modern Warfare 2, they do the same sort of thing twice at the end of the campaign. Spoilers now, if you give a shit. It's Call of Duty. At the very end, Price gets handed a photo, and he's like, oh, I know who that is. It's Makarov. And then later on, you see someone text a message, no Russian, and you see some Russian dudes stand up on an airplane, probably about to destroy it. And there's three cases of this that happen, that is like the sequels, using established characters and using things from the old trilogy to set up new things going forwards. They do it three times. They do it with Soap, they do it with Makarov, they do it with no Russian. But these things only work if you played the previous games, which a lot of people have. If you didn't play the original games, or if you had no idea about the original Modern Warfare story going into it, which, considering the size of gaming back then and the size of like the gaming industry now, there's probably a good chance that you didn't. They, these reveals just sort of like come out of nowhere, and, it, and they use no Russian as like this crazy reveal, almost like Thanos picking up the fucking infinity gauntlet at the end of age of ultron and it just irks me is weird because it feels like it's game treats it as such as if it's earned these moments and it's been building up to this the whole time but it hasn't it's just showing you new stuff and to me it's just weird that they rely on all these old names and all these old plot points without building any of them up they just introduce them and that's it it's just there and if you don't know what it is or where it came from, fuck you. They don't care. So the main issue for me here is I think if you're going to reboot something, you shouldn't totally rely on the better version, the original version that allowed you to make this in the first place to set up your story for you. Like if you're going to introduce Makarov and you're going to have this no Russian moment and you're going to have all of this, why don't you build that up in the game you're making? How hard is that to do? 
this is sort of the same as like the Henry Cavill Witcher season four thing that's going on right now. It kind of astonishes me that the writers they have on that show, um, apparently they've been talking shit on the original books and the games and everything. And it's like these, uh, the only reason you're able to make this show to begin with is the fact that these games and these books are so successful. So why the fuck would you spit in their face and just totally do it dirty like that? Because otherwise, without them, you wouldn't be making this. The same thing goes for Call of Duty. So it just kind of astonishes me that they are trying to do their own thing, but at the same time, they end up relying super heavily on the games that came before without standing on their own two legs. Say, like, another example I would bring up is, like, God of War. I never touched a PlayStation, but when I finally did, I bought a PlayStation maybe a month ago or so, with the PS5s, I played God of War, the new one, 2018, and I didn't feel left out. I felt like I was totally caught up to pace, and I feel like there wasn't a whole lot that I was missing. Of course, like, I go back now, and there's a lot of small details from the games that mean a lot in the reimagining, but it's not an overwhelming majority, and I'm not going to be t totally fucking lost. It's not like Kratos turns and goes like, oh, it's Zeus. And then walks off with no explanation whatsoever as to why Zeus is there. He goes, that's Zeus. And then him and Mimir have a talk about how Zeus is Kratos' father. Which is something I didn't know going into it. But if you don't know Call of Duty, at the very end of Modern Warfare 2, Price goes, he's not new. That's Makarov. As if you're supposed to know who the fuck Makarov is. But if you didn't play the original Call of Duty, or Call of Duty Modern Warfare's, you don't know who Makarov is. He is a new person, because you don't know who the fuck he is and the game has not built it up. Maybe it's in some tertiary cutscene from Warzone or something? Possibly. I'm not super big in Call of Duty, and he might have shown up in small bits and pieces here and there. But, to me, if the story doesn't stand on its own in the campaigns of its respective games, it's not a very good story. I feel like they're just getting a write-off for lazy writing because of the games that came before them. And they're just sort of taking advantage of that nostalgia and the, the original Modern Warfare trilogy to excuse all of the holes and all of the uh, blank spots in their new story. In the end, this doesn't matter a whole lot. It's Call of Duty. I'm not expecting Call of Duty to have the next breakthrough, make me think about reality story. Um, we have games like Spec Ops The Line and God of War and Hellblade and stuff like that that are really good stories that tell good stories. The main thing is I think Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022 is going to get a write-off and a bunch of excuses about how it's a much better game than it really is just because it has really fancy cinematics it's got a few inventive parts to like the gameplay of the campaign with like stealth and crafting and all this stuff that games like Far Cry have been doing since 2012. I think all of these things are going to be able to trick people into thinking that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is one of the best first person shooter games ever made. But in reality, to me, it's just another Call of Duty game like every other one we've gotten in the last half decade, almost full decade now. It's a big, explosive action flick that wears its heart on its sleeve, but that heart doesn't beat. There we go. That's the fucking video. God fucking video. I've never thought about it. Normally, I just put like some text to the end of the fucking video because I don't... Um, if you liked this, if you would like to hear me talk more on shit, fair to things is important, and we need people to not just totally fucking dick ride Modern Warfare 2. Is that, is that because so far the multiplayer is kind of feels like a mess and it doesn't have a whole lot else to the game? That's a whole different topic for someone more qualified than me to talk about. I've only played multiplayer for... It's this pretty much the same as every other Call of Duty, I think. Yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, subscribe, like. You can't dislike. I think you can, but... Nobody's going to see it, so go fuck yourself.